let's go back to the other window briefly. Go back here. I'll bring up the application switcher to get back to my system preferences. Uh, personally, I use a combination of the two, and I think that after some time, you'll agree that it really is the best uh, way to work with spaces. Um, incidentally, if you use the application switcher while spaces is enabled, let's say I want to switch to my to-do manager, it's selected, release the hotkey, also the operating system takes care of switching spaces for you. It's very handy. This is why I say a combination of the two is really best. So we'll go back to this space, back to system preferences, which is in the same space as mail, so we didn't see any space switching happening there. Um, and what we're going to do now is take a look at the hotkey for switching between spaces. Uh, this is default, I believe. Uh, I find it to work the best as well. So this little caret symbol here, if you're not familiar, that's the control key on the keyboard. So control and the arrow keys will allow you to switch between spaces. And this is really um, sort of a directional utility, directional space switching. So we can see here from this display that space 1 is directly to the left of space 2. Um, we're in space 1 right now. And if I want to switch to space 2, I'm going to hold the control key down and use the right arrow key because space exists virtually. But nonetheless, to the right, and we can switch directly over. Also, we get another display on the screen to provide a little visual feedback as to where we are. Let's make things a little bit more fun. Let's add some more. Oop, too many. Th this is how I work. I end up working with nine spaces. Um, and the reason for that will become clear as we go along. But basically, to prepare you for what's ahead, I tend to work out of the central space, space number five. And I will have applications either to the left, to the right, above or below, and every now and then I'll use the corners. But basically what this, is al what this allows is for me to have a one switch away space for all of my applications. So let's take a look at how that works. Let's open up a few more. Or first, let's position a few. So as I said, my main space is the central one, space number five as it, as it were. Um, I tend to keep my mail down here in this space. Um, some organizational utilities usually go up here. Let's open up a few more programs here. Um, address book, perhaps. Let's put that in the space. Put that over here. Now, I'm on the left column. That's because my external display that happens to have a little bit larger resolution, at least vertically, than my laptop display is directly in front of me. So that's, that's my main display. Let's open up another one. Yeah, Jimbo. Save that for another tutorial as well. Uh, so I've showed you how to move windows from one space to another this way. Um, but what we can also do is grab the window with the mouse, normal, normal click and drag, and head up to the border of the window. So if I go up and hold it, we switch spaces. And it was hard to see, but here in the middle of the screen, we got the space switcher as well. There's my to-do manager. You saw a minute ago that I moved it to the space above, and if we activate spaces indeed, we can see that my Yojimbo program is now in this space number two. That's not where I want it. I want it over here. Okay. So, again, switching spaces, I can use the, I can activate spaces directly and use the mouse to move over. Um, but for you keyboard fans out there, I'm a keyboard fan, so this is the way I tend to work. Control arrow keys seem to be what I use the most. So here we go. We can move around very, fairly quickly and get to all of our applications. I'm going kind of fast here, but that's the point, right? We're going to fly around while we're working. Okay, so my typical environment is like this, where I'll have a browser open and the finder probably, you know, and I do most of my work here in this central window. And if I need to get to my mail, I'm there. I can check my mail really quick, respond. Uh, typically, I keep my iTunes open over here. It's not open now, but it will be here, so I can sw switch over to, you know, to change tracks that I'm listening to. I can go over here to check my address book. Typically, my calendaring application is here. Um, and I think you're already beginning to see that Spaces really allows for a much nicer workflow than, you know, the resizing and repositioning of windows on the screen or the um, minimize, maximize dance. 
that you uh, may be bringing with you from Windows days, long past, hopefully. Okay, so let's let's take it one step further. We'll go back to the System Preferences window. One of the areas that we haven't touched on yet is this application assignments, um, and this is this is great too. So, what what this does is it manually assigns a particular space, say space one or space six, to a program, so that when the program opens, it automatically opens its windows in that particular space. So let's let's take a look at how this works. Before I assign anything, I'm going to go ahead and close some of my programs. I'm close Mail, close OmniFocus, close the address book, close the Jimbo. Okay, here we go. Back to System Preferences. So I'm going to add a few application assignments just to demonstrate how this works. Click the plus button. Um, other, so these are recently accessed applications, also applications that are currently open. So we'll go to other and we're going to choose mail first. I'm getting there. Okay. Okay, so I, I like my mail to be in space 8 as I, as I told you a moment ago because I tend to work out of the central space. So to create that one space of way uh, work environment, uh, we'll put mail in space 8. So we change it here. Okay. Uh, let's add another one. How about address book? Space number four. Okay. Yojimbo is a information manager for those of you that are curious. Bare Bones is the name of the software developer. You can find them on the web. They make excellent software. So Yojimbo is going to be placed in space number six. Okay, there we go. So uh, let's let's take a quick aside. Let's turn this on. Show spaces in the menu bar. Um, I've I've got sort of a busy menu bar up here with lots of different applications I have running, but this is what was just added. Uh, the five in the center corresponds to this five, of course. This lets us know very quickly which space we're on. And for beginners with spaces, this is probably a nice thing to turn on so that if you get lost, you know right where you're at. Okay, so back to the application assignments. We've assigned address book to space 8, mail to space 4. That's not actually what we want. Let's change address book to 4 and mail to 8. Must have made a mistake there. And then we're going to go ahead and open those programs and you can see what happens. So I'll click on mail. That's going to open up. Did you see that? Swapped it for us. That's what the OS does again with the address book and Yojimbo. We'll open those. Yeah, it can get kind of hectic, um, but basically you can see here now that you don't have to take care of managing moving windows around every time you start up your computer and start opening programs. That would be uh, very dull. So fortunately we have this application assignment window here where we can take, take care of that beforehand. I think that's just about all. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. By all means, go back and watch it again if you need to. I know I go kind of fast, um, and hopefully after using spaces for a while, so will you.